Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to another First Impressions review. This is a game called Hyperfeed. It is a space uh, battle game, a game that's right up my alley. I typically love these kind of games. Price tag is $2.99. I did launch the game um, to check it out really briefly, but I uh, haven't reviewed it yet. haven't really made up my mind on the game yet, but uh, we're going to go ahead and check this game out and uh, see if it's a top-down 2D space shooter that I like or don't like. And we'll be back to go ahead and check out this developer's first game on Steam, and we'll do that right after that. All right, welcome back, everybody. I did go ahead and hit the play button. I am waiting for the game to launch. The game does have one positive review. My good buddy Rode G on uh, YouTube I did play it, and he gave it a positive review. So it is a Unity game, and we have this uh, that comes up. We have how to play WASD or arrow keys. Shoot his left mouse button, dash his right mouse button. Mute music is M, and P is escape or pause. Okay, And high scores... Okay, I was going to say we have nothing here, but we do have five high scores. Looks like three people are tied at 10. Let's see if we can beat that score. All right, let's go ahead and jump in, guys. That's the only thing I think we can do is start or quit, and we're not ready to quit yet. Oh, man, music is really loud. Hang on, let me pause it and turn my music down just a little bit in my headset. And to turn your music down just a little bit as well so that I can hear it. I didn't see a way to mute the music. All right. So we got a two times health, a 50% damage uh, addition modifier, and a 50% further dash. Okay. Um, I just paused the game. Why would I need to retry? Okay. Okay. What? Okay. This is... Okay, the basic game I did, it's WASD to move left, up, and right, and down. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do those controls in a space shooter just because it feels weird. Like, you, that's the controls you would expect if you weren't in space. Like, if you were doing just a zombie shooter. Like, imagine this was like a... You know, like a big fenced-in area, and it was land, not space. Then sure, but with a space shooter, you would probably ex expect W or up to be thrust forward, whatever direction you are moving. But okay, we can go with that. You got a lot of enemies here, and the problem here is that I see my health down in the bottom right, but there is like zero polish in this game. Um. And the way you shoot an asteroid, they just disappear. They don't fade out. There's no breaking up, you know, of the asteroids. Like, there's no explosions. I feel like there should be some kind of a rock explosion. Now we got some kind of a big, uh, big mega boss here. It seems like he's way too strong to be fighting three minutes into the game. Or less than three minutes into the game. Um, okay, I got him. And then I got... I see what they're trying to do here with the choices. This is a good idea here. Uh, bullets target enemies. Okay, let's try that one. Okay. Yeah, this game is bad. This looks like a first game, and this is something that really belongs like on itch.io or gamejoel.com, where this developer can get feedback. You know, give it away for free. Don't be charging money. Get feedback on your first game. Don't be launching this game in this kind of a state on Steam for any amount of money because the game lacks so much polish that it's terrible. Yeah, I mean, does this look right? So if I go left, look at my spaceship mo moving left and right with D. Does that look good, right? Look at the stars floating up from the bottom. Does that look good? No, does this look good when I shoot a rock? There's no impact of the bullets at all. You don't know if it's about to break the rock. 
there's no breaking or collision or impact or anything it just freaking disappears again does this look good for a space game does it look right or does it look and feel wrong the music doesn't match the game the music is apt and terrible choice for this kind of a game uh, this sounds like the music you would expect if i was like you know selling ice cream or collecting ice cream as a little cartoon kid uh like a kid's game basically okay so i hit my right button and i oh, okay i dash yeah this game is just super unpolished and it doesn't belong to be on steam i hate to say it so to the developer you've got the basic idea for a game here I like the sprites and everything like that. If you've drawn all these sprites yourself, you've done a fantastic job with the artwork. These collisions look okay. I wouldn't make them quite so colorful. But it looks like you have some pretty cool ideas for movement of enemies. But you need you need satisfying collisions on the rocks. They need to break apart or something. Um, there needs to be impacts. There needs to be impacts around your spaceship when you get hit. Like, you should make the screen flash red really quickly or something like that every time you get hit. Some other way than just your health bar that's oversized, you know, going down a little bit. Because of the lack of polish here, and because of the lack of attention to detail in this game, it simply takes down from the user experience. And it makes the game not fun. So it looks like you could have a really fun game here. But this game needs to go back into the oven. What you're doing with this game is you're trying to, you know, you've made a cake that needs to bake at 350 degrees for an oven, and you bake that cake for, at 350 degrees, but for only 60 seconds, right? This cake needs to go back in the oven for another hour, basically. Yeah, you've taken, you've put this game up on Steam way too early, and you need to give it a lot of attention and detail and love that it needs. To be the you know the good game that it can be uh, i do see that you put effort into this game i do think that you put effort into this game uh like when i collect one of those power-ups or whatever they you don't want to make them just vanish like that you want to make them fade out so you need to figure out how to make this you know like the power-ups and stuff like that fade out uh rather than just disappearing because when they just disappear the game looks very unprofessional uh the same thing with all the collisions and so much about this game Again, your cake needs to go back in the oven. You try to take a cake out and serve it to people when it's still raw. And that's exactly how I feel about this game here. You know, you need to go back and put a lot more work into this game, Hyperfeet. Uh, I like what you're trying to do. I'm not going to knock you too hard. Um, normally, I would probably give this game a miss. It is that bad of a game as far as the user, user experience. But when I see effort put in by a developer, I'm not going to make it a miss. I'm going to make this game an effort is obvious game, but that does not mean it's a good game. If I had to score this game, it would be like a 1 out of 10. So that's how bad it is right now. But with some work, some polish, with making the asteroids break apart when you shoot them, make sure they're breaking apart realistically as you would expect them to. Maybe work on your controls. WASD is too simple of a control uh, scheme for a game like this, for a space shooter, and for the exact reason I showed you. You know, moving left and right, uh, and seeing your spaceship move left and right when it's facing left or whatever just looks and feels bad, right? So get some good controls in there. I have a couple of games, Rock and Roll, where I put in, you know, the old Asteroid-style thrusting forward type controls. That's probably what you need for this kind of a game. But another option you can find for a space game is like Fancy Bear, where you, you know, you move your mouse and your ship is going to point wherever your mouse is. And I think that's what you already have here. But then maybe right mouse button could be thrust and you thrust towards wherever your mouse cursor is. That's kind of the control scheme I have in Fancy Beer. And there's other you know, control schemes you could do that would work well and feel and look good for a space game like this. But there's so much about this game that you need to work on. Make sure that it's a good polished experience and make sure basically it doesn't look like shit when you shoot an asteroid or you shoot something and it just disappears. Or when you pick up an a you know, a power up and it just disappears. It just makes the game feel very unpolished, but very also very amateurish as well. Not a game that you would expect to pay any amount of money for. And that's what we have here. Hyperfeet uh, right now gets my score of a 1 out of 10. Uh, to the developer, don't lose heart just because I gave you a low score. This doesn't mean that you can't make games. It just means I'm giving you the, the honest truth. So 
but but you know what you need to do to make your game better. Don't give up. Go back. Make this game better. This game can definitely be a good game. It just needs some more work. You need to put it back in the oven. Like I said, uh, you need to make sure it's done before you're trying to serve me raw cake, okay? Uh, nobody wants to pay for raw cake as well. So uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zach29. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.